We keep bees. So let me tell you a little story, okay? We have an observation hive, okay? That's this guy right here, okay? Look at this, okay? This is a beehive that lives inside our house. You can see the little ladies in there right now. Reflection makes it kind of difficult to see in there, but I have a story to tell about this hive from last year. So, two years ago, we've run this hive for about four years now. Two years ago, summer before last, the population in this hive started to decline about midsummer. All the bees were dying off. We didn't know what was going on at the time. And so eventually the population dropped to the point where pests started to move in. Wax moths, things like that were eating and destroying the hive. So we had to take the hive apart to save everything that was in there. We were able to harvest some honey, but it was a loss. Okay, all the bees died. The very last bee I pulled out of the hive was actually the queen, though. She was hiding in the very back, so she had stopped laying. Okay, the next spring, last year, we put a new package of bees into this hive, okay? New queen went off like gangbusters last year and the spring was great here in Texas and the hive built up very quickly. So we went from no bees to having filled all of this with comb and then all of this section too. And you can see that they had laid up quite a bit, okay? All these stores are still from last year. And I say that because Last year, the same thing happened in the summer, okay? Population started declining. Well, last year, I went from keeping just an observation hive to also having, sorry for that transition, four hives out front, okay? So four Langstroth hives. I got a little wiser about it. So when the population started declining, I decided to try and do a rescue. Okay, and that's what this looks like, okay? I took bees from our healthy hives outdoors, okay? One hive in particular was doing very well. I was able to take bees from that hive. I've learned about merging hives. So you could take uh, a hive that was underperforming and merge it with another hive. And so I used some of those techniques. I took bees from a healthy hive and introduce them slowly to this hive here. So I actually put the bees into this section here, which is empty, no comb. I introduced them here and I blocked off the crossway here. When I built this hive or when I got this hive, I re-engineered it so that I could add dividers into between these sections and block sections off. So I used that to keep bees in this hive and slowly introduce them to the hive and give the population a boost because the queen was not doing her job. She was not laying. And observation hives are tough, okay? You can see here that they grow the comb right against the glass, okay? And this is actually a plexiglass. It's not a, not a, a glass, window glass. So they grow right against that. So you cannot take this off without significantly damaging the hive, okay? So getting in and doing some traditional work, finding the queen, replacing the queen, it's kind of hard to do, okay? So what I decided to do, hey, it's a loss if it fails, and it's a loss if, if, if it doesn't, right? Um, if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. So might as well try something. Introduce these bees from my other hive to the colony, to try and keep it over winter because if the population drops too low then pests move in and start to destroy the hive and then you have to wipe it out okay so by introducing bees into this hive i was able to keep the population up going into winter i actually had to do two infusions that's how like trying this to save this hive i was but i, I wasn't sure if this was going to make it well as you can see here Going into this spring, we were very, very surprised to start to see capped cells and larva in our cells, eggs in these cells, telling us 
that the queen is, in fact, alive and laying. So we don't know why she turned off and stopped laying midsummer last year. It was a very, very dry summer, very hot, very dry, uh, even for Texas. And after a gangbusters spring, more flowers than I've ever seen, going into just one of the hardest summers I've ever seen. Um, but this is two years in a row that the queens, two different queens, have done this in this hive, okay? So I'm not sure what's up with that. If you know, let me know, okay? Um, but the lesson here was I tried something new, uh, untried. It was just like, let's give it a shot and see if this can work. And I don't know what this hive is going to look like going forward, but I don't have to buy a package of bees this year to get this hive to boost up. So now it is organically recovering. Okay, my queen is back at it for some reason. And this hive is going to fill out in no time the rate that she's laying and the rate that we're getting capped, uh, capped brood over here. So in no time, this population is going to spring up. This thing will be absolutely crawling with bees. And just because we decided to experiment with something new. Um, they're not untried. Uh, amateur beekeeper, to be sure. I'm sure if anybody's a real beekeeper, they'll tell me about, oh my gosh, I can't believe you did that. Why did you do that? Um, but, you know, here we are. So if you have feedback for me, let me know down there. But just wanted to share this kind of cool hobby thing that I'm doing and some lessons that I'm learning just by trying. See ya.